Hello everyone, this is Oshani from Jeddah.com. In this particular video, we will talk about the upcoming contests in 2024. This will be particularly useful for students in grade 8 or above. We will focus on mathematics, physics, computer science olympiads and their research projects. These are the four areas we at Chinta Academy work on. If you want to know more about our learning programs, check the link in the description. We have some outstanding programs for passionate students. Let's start with mathematics. Mathemat in mathematics, in India, we focus on IOQM. That's the first level. The second level is RMO. The third level is INMO. So if you are in India, if you are an Indian citizen or a OCI card holder, then you can take this and it's happening in the month of September. You should have a focused preparation time for IOQM. Check the link in the description for the latest paper of IOQM and some of the discussions around it. Now, if you are an American citizen or even if you are from some other part of the world, you can also take the American Math Competition 10 and 12, AMC 10 and AMC 12. These are very good contests and they happen in the month of November. Universities actually take very seriously AMC scores or IOQM RMO INMO scores. In fact, uh, MIT application process contains a space to input your AMC and AME scores. So, of course, that's taken under consideration. So, these are the two main contests that I would like you to focus on in 2024. Of course, if you are a British citizen, then you can go on to take the UKMT. UKMT happens in the first week of October. And if, in fact, if you are from Singapore or from uh, Australia or from Bangladesh, other places in the world, then also you can take the American math competition. It still is valid for you. Okay. So that's for mathematics, IOQM and AMC 10, AMC 12. Now let's go to physics. At Chitta, we have a very exciting program on physics. We focus on non-routine problem solving and we also focus on experiments. Now all of these skills will come into play in the physics contests like NSEP, NSCJS in India and F equal to MA in United States. So in the United States, F equal to MA this year is happening on 8th of February. So it's just the day after today. I mean, I'm recording this on 7th of February, so it's happening tomorrow. But you can obviously prepare for the next year's F equal to MA. It's a very nice contest. It majorly focuses on mechanics, part of physics. And that's what we also suggest. You should focus on the mechanics. And then once you have a strong grasp on it, then you can move on to the other parts of physics. Now, NSEP happens in the month of November and same as NSEJS. NSEJS is a junior science competition. You can take it up to grade 10. NSEP is available up to grade 12. An excellent contest. NSEP is the first level of physics Olympiads in India. The next level is info. So start with NSEP. The next thing is computer science. So in computer science, we have ZCO and ZIO as the starting stone of the competition rounds. ZCO actually is happening in the month of April this year, 17th of April. And ZIO happens in the month of December. So if you are in one of the Chinta Computer Science Olympiad programs, then you are already solving non-routine competitive programming problems. The foundation programs, however, focus on algorithms a little bit more using Scratch and some other elementary tools. You do not really need to learn X and Y language, let's say Python or C. What you would need to learn is the fundamental principles of algorithmic thinking and how mathematics goes into it. So you can consider looking at those programs, but uh, the main contest that you should be focusing on is ZIO and ZCO. So these are the three layers, mathematics, physics, and computer science. You do not need to take all of them. 
you have to find your own passion and focus on a few of these not all of these okay okay the final part is research so at chinta we take research very seriously many of the school students at chinta starting from grade 9 actually take part in research projects and research training programs now one of the major events in this area is actually science fairs now in india the science fair that is the most important science fair is called iris i r i s and they accept project submissions in the month of september and october so uh, in that time zone you have to submit your project so if you are already in a research project or research training program in india talk to your mentor make sure you have the timeline in mind you have to submit the project in september or october and after that the major event the worldwide event happens in united states it's called isef in this year this is happening in the month of may in los angeles so uh, it's a very beautiful contest many talented young kids actually come together and they participate in it i hope this information was useful for you make sure you are focused you are working on a few things not a lot of things under peer pressure you do not need to do a ton of stuff you have to do one or two things really really well and stay focused on that that's your job okay all right thank you for watching this video i hope you found this useful if you have please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one all the best